Hey everybody, today we are making a uh, play on clams oreganata, which is a dish where you open the clams and then you put breadcrumbs and oregano and lemon on top and you bake them. But I'm too lazy to open all the clams. I got these beautiful clams here in Block Island out of New Harbor. Um, these are little necks by the size, you can tell. And I've got about probably three and a half to four pounds of clams. So instead of doing the traditional oreganata, we're going to cook them stovetop. Um, it's gonna have a beautiful broth. I'm gonna make crusty bread for dipping, um, a little bit of kielbasa, and then we're gonna make a really yummy, lemony, herbed breadcrumb. And we're going for the herbs, we're gonna use my dish off the block, Chow Bella seasoning. We are launching our spice line finally, and so, so excited about it. So this is, um, an Italian spice blend. We're gonna put it in when the clams are cooking in the pan, and then we're also gonna weave it with essence throughout the breadcrumbs that we're gonna sprinkle on top at the end. So to start off, um, I've just got a crusty baguette loaf, and I'm drizzling probably with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna put it in the oven and let it get nice and toasty. My oven set it preheated to 400 degrees. So while we make the clams, that goes in. Okay, and then I've got to light my stove here with my handy dandy lighter till the repair guy comes. So in this pan, I'm heating four tablespoons of butter. And when that melts, we're gonna make our crumbs. And in this pan, we're doing two tablespoons of olive oil. Thereabouts. And I'm gonna start to saute my onions and garlic. I've got one white onion chopped here. And then I've got about six tablespoons of large garlic cloves peeled and chopped. That's going in. I'm just gonna let that heat up. <clears throat> For my crumbs, I'm gonna do, as soon as that butter gets all melty, we're on medium-high heat in both pans. And we're gonna add to this about yes, a cup of breadcrumbs. These are gonna be buttery and delicious. So, about a cup of crumbs. Actually, you know what? This is a new recipe. I'm gonna do about a cup and a half of breadcrumbs. Okay. And then to that, we're going to add our magical Chow Bella spice mix. And I'm going to do about a tablespoon of Chow Bella. And when this cooks in the crumbs, the flavors are going to bloom and be delicious. So our butter is starting to get very melty. And we're gonna cook this till they're brown and toasty. So we'll be back in one second to update you on the results. All right, our breadcrumbs are getting a roasty, toasty, and it's starting to smell really good in here. You can see the herbs laced throughout. I'm gonna add some lemon zest and lemon juice to the crumbs, but first I'm gonna add, I chopped a half a pound of kielbasa, smoked sausage. You could use chorizo, you could use any kind of sausage really for this. Um, this is pre-cooked kielbasa and I'm putting that now into the pan with the onions and garlic. And that's and it's gonna get all browned and yummy and caramelized. And then, that go for a minute. We went, these have been going by the way, the crumbs and the onions have been going for about three minutes, three and a half minutes, um, just until they're fragrant and soft and you can really smell them in the crumbs until they get lightly browned. And then now I'm adding, this is the zest actually from this lemon, I zested it. Um, and that's gonna go into your crumbs. It's gonna be have a really bright, beautiful lemony flavor. And then we're gonna do half the lemon is gonna go into the crumbs. So my favorite, everybody has a thing for not getting the seeds. I like to use a simple mesh strainer. And all the seeds go in the strainer, and all the juice goes into your pan. Squeeze. And then one more. And then the other half of the lemon we're gonna use at the end 
to finish off the clams. Maybe with a little parsley or basil, fresh basil. Okay. That's that. Stir our kielbasa. Actually, let's stir our crumbs first. Get that all incorporated. Oh, they smell so good. And I'm probably pretty close to shutting these off. You can see they're really golden and brown, and I'm getting all that lemony goodness throughout. I wish you could smell the Chow Bella seasoning. It smells so good. All right, I'm going to put those, turn those off. They look pretty darn good. All right, and now our, our kielbasa is starting to get nice and caramelized. Let's add some of the Chow Bella seasoning to that part of it. You can never have too much Chow Bella seasoning. Okay. This is a blend of, it's got, um, it's got basil, dried basil, dried oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of thyme. It's a really yummy mix. So we're putting a teaspoon in here and that is the flavors of that are also going to bloom as this cooks. Oh, it smells good. And then we're going to add our clams. So our clams have been soaked for about 30 minutes in cold water. Some people add corn, cornmeal to like get the sand out. I just like to scrub the outsides of them lightly with a brush and then soak them in cold water and change the water a couple times. And I find that, that most of the sand comes out. So I'm going to add these, <clears throat> kind of nestle them in to our chorizo and onions and garlic. Kind of gonna even put some on top because when the clams open up, you want all that yummy goodness inside. All right. Give them a little toss. Look at this. Let's get some of that stuff on top. We're going to toss them a little bit halfway through cooking, too, to make sure everything gets evenly distributed. Ooh, it's going to be good. There's such a sense of satisfaction. I mean, there's satisfaction if you go to the grocery store and you get your clams or the fish market. But when you dig them yourself, oh, my God, so fun. All right, so we're going to add one of my favorite ingredients, wine. This is a cup of dry white wine. I'm going to pour that right in. I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit and I'm going to cover them. And these guys are going to cook probably for about eight to ten minutes. It's going to come to a boil and it's going to steam and the clams are going to pop open uh, and it's going to be amazing. I'm probably going to when they start to open up um, toss them a little bit so we get more of that chorizo and onion and garlic um, inside the clams and then we're gonna finish them off so we'll be back all right let's see how our clams are doing oh look at them they're all opened bubbling away oh and they smell incredible all right we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice now Again, throw a strainer to catch all those seeds. You can also do it through your fingers, but I feel like you get more of the juice this way. One more. Okay. Yum. All right. And then we're going to toss our crumbs into the clams. Those are going to go over the top. I'm going to reserve a few for the end to be crunchy on top, but these are all going to get tossed in. Oh my gosh. So yummy. Okay. I want a little bit of salt and pepper. i try my hand. Probably about a half a teaspoon of salt. 
and maybe half a teaspoon of black pepper. Oh, this will all be written up on the blog too. Give another little toss, make sure those breadcrumbs and all that yummy goodness is distributed. And then, oh, our bread. I have to pull our bread out. We're going to get our bread out of the oven. And that is golden and toasty. I was in it at 400 when we started, and it's just about perfect timing for when it's all done. Do that. And I guess we'll plate one. Oh, let's turn these guys off. And I chopped up here um, some fresh parsley and basil. So I'm going to put some of that in the pan and save some for the individual plating. Makes it pretty and adds a fresh, bright note. All right, let's plate a dish. Oh, they look so good. If you have any clams that aren't open, I see one here in mine. Don't eat them. That means they probably weren't alive when you started. But, all right, that'll do it. I'm going to do a few more of these crumbs for crunchy over the top. A little bit more of our greens. It smells incredible. Let me wash my hand. Actually, I'll pull this over here just so you guys can get a shot of the finished dish. It looks amazing, and it smells even more amazing, but I don't, you want to check that out. And then I am going to take a taste. All right, I think this might be hot. Let's get a good one, this guy. Oops. The camera crew has been pushing me to finish this dish because they're really hungry. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So good. Oh. I'm going to serve it like this with the crusty bread and then dipping that bread. Oh. And broth. Let's try that. Hot. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So easy. You have to make this. Oh, and if you want to get the Chabella seasoning, Dish Off the Block, go to dishofftheblock.com and click on the shop um, up on the bar, the shop. <laughs> the cameraman's trying to tell me what it is. What is it? What is it? Tab. This tab, that's what it is. Don't mind me. I might have had a glass of wine before we shot this. Anyways, dish off the block, the shop tab, Chabella seasoning. And by the way, I'll be uh, adding more recipes shortly. We also have Superbly Herby, which is incredible on fish or chicken or pork and then we have raging cajun which i've had friends making my uh, herb mix forever and finally we're bottling it and selling it and it's great on we're going to do a black and swordfish recipe if you've ever had my famous fajita pie it's incredible so check out our seasonings on the blog and have a great day cheers